In this video, we are going to continue with finding the constant of integration. You will find this on page 319 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. A curve with equation y equals fx passes through the point and crosses the y-axis at b. It is given that this is the, the derivative function, the in, a differentiated function, find the y-coordinate of b. So it's actually almost the same, it's just that we are going to use now uh, like the reverse of the chain rule, that ax plus b to the power of n. Okay, so again, so you just have to concentrate more on your integration process. Can you remember? We take the value in front of x, so it's 1 over 3, then we add 1 and we divide plus c. And then we just simplify this a little bit, and then since the curve passes through this, we substitute, we get c is negative 1. Now, the equation of the curve is this, but the question was, find, okay, uh, and crosses the y-axis at b, find the y-coordinate of b. So, we crosses or cuts the y or intersect the y-axis and make x is 0. So in this equation, I make x 0 and I get negative for half. So the y-coordinate will be negative for half. What will be the x-coordinate? It will be 0. So the point will be 0 and negative for half, but they only asked for the y-coordinate. And it's very important, especially in this level, that you just answer what they asked for. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do, um, um, because it's more or less the same as the previous ones, um, I want to give you, but I think still, do number one, just going to give my pen, do number one as well, and I'm moving it up a little bit, otherwise you cannot see it, number four. And again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Number one. A curve is such that, that's the derivative function, so that's the differentiated function. Okay. And it's going through this point. So it's exactly like in the previous video. It's just the... The function is more complicated, but we know the rule, so it's not so that complicated. It's just nice that it's at the and, and it's a half, and if it comes up, it's negative a half. So if I'm going to do it now, I'm just going to say y. Um, I can actually say it like that. I don't even think it's necessary that I say I can directly go into okay, but let's just say y is equal. To 4 and then I'm going to integrate that 6 minus 2x to the power negative a half and don't forget I integrate 2x so that is going to give me then 4 okay now multiply oh I forgot that too Pin. what is the value in front of x grab that sign so it's negative a half okay and then or you can put the negative there it doesn't matter and then I multiply with 6 minus 2x and now it's going to be negative a half plus 2 over 2 which is going to give me a half and then I divide by that half and then I don't forget to write plus c Okay, so remember, this will give me negative 2. Do you see that? So if I multiply, I will get the negative 2, but multiply by that reciprocal, which will be 2 over 1. So that is going to give me negative 4. And if I take that, uh, no, I don't take it down because it's positive. So I just leave it like this. I just put it in the root plus C. 
It's sometimes easier to do substitution if it's in the root. Okay. And now I'm going to substitute. And what is that point? 1 and 8. And don't forget that this is your x, this is your y. So it was actually a y there. And if I substitute it, in the place of y, it's 8, negative 4, and in the root, 6 minus 2. Mm, let's just get... So 8 is equal to negative 4, and then 6 minus 2 is 4, plus c. So 8 is equal, that is going to be 2, so it's negative 8, plus c. Okay. Plus c. And if it's going over, it's going to be 8 plus 8 is equal to c. So therefore, c will be what? 16. If I just want to move this. And now... I stop with my final by saying, therefore, y is equal to, and, and remember, I'm, I'm substituting in there. So it's negative 4, and then that 6 minus 2x plus 16. And that will be my original function before it was differentiated. Okay, let's do number 4. And again, I'm going to make space. Okay, and I'm going to move it up a little bit. <clears throat> and this is going to be number 4 now. So the curve has equation y equals fx. It's given that this is the differentiated function. Okay, and this is just why I gave you this one. Because this is just a very nice way of, of writing the coordinate point. It's just saying that if the value of x is 3, then the value of y is 1. So don't forget, it's going to be 3 and 1. It's just another way of getting the coordinate point. Okay, so let's start with the function. We say the differentiated function... I like this one also because it's two terms. Okay. So let's get it ready. Bring that, it's a half, and if it, go, if it goes up, it's negative half. Okay. And now I'm going to start with my um, differentiation. So, uh, yeah, I can actually say, let's do it like this. I'm going to say y equals, then I'm going to put the integral sign there, and then I'm just going to say, don't forget, I must differentiate to x. Okay, and that's going to be, so now I'm going to do it, or say fx or y, it doesn't matter. But in this, you could have said also there fx. Maybe that's good. I think I'm going to keep it to fx, but y will also work. Just because I didn't, in the previous sums, I wrote y. Okay. So, now I'm going to integrate. And if I integrate, don't forget, oh, luckily that's 1. So, it's going to be 1 over 1. So, it's not going to have an effect. But it's going to be x plus 6. And it's minus a half plus 1. So, that is just going to be a half. And I divide by a half. And don't forget, it's multiply 1 over 1, because that's 1, and I'm not writing it. So, plus 6, x, negative 2 plus 1, it's negative 1. I divide by negative 1. This is a normal um, integration. And then don't forget your plus c. So, that is going to give me now, if you multiply this, the reciprocal, 2, put it back in the root, 
And now, oh, it's not a positive. Why is it not a positive? Because a positive multiplying it's going to be a negative. And it's 6 over x, and it's going to be plus c. Okay. And now, what am I going to do now? I'm going to do substitution. So, substitute, I can, I can say it like that, just... Therefore, substitute Okay, so if I substitute, so in the place, okay, remember this is y, and I think I'm going to put it now as y. Okay, so this is x and this is y. So if I substitute it in, in the place of y, I'm going to put a 1. In the place of x, I'm going to put 3. So this is 1, this is 2. That is 9 minus 2 plus c. So this is 1. Now this is 2 times 3. That's 6. So if it goes over, negative 6 plus 2 is equal to c. So c is equal to negative 3. Okay. So therefore, fx, they said find fx. So Write it then as fx is equal to, and I substitute in there, so it's 2 bracket x plus 6 minus 6 over x um, minus 3. It's always good if you, as soon as you are finished, just read that final question again to make double sure that you are answering the correct part.